Hi everyone. If your PC feels slow, it's often due to background window services. In this video, I'll show you how to safely disable them to boost performance on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Before we begin, click the Windows search bar, type Task Manager and open it. Go to the Performance tab. Even though no apps are running, you may notice activity like this, CPU usage around 40%, process count around 254, threads around 3,924, handles over 135,652. Go to the Windows search bar, type Services and press Enter or click Open to open the Services app. The first service to disable is Assigned Access Manager service. This service is used for kiosk mode, where a PC is locked to one app or used as a public computer. If you don't use your PC as a public or shared device, you don't need this service. Set the startup type to Disabled, then Apply, and OK. Next is the BitLocker Drive Encryption Service. BitLocker is used to encrypt your hard drive, but most normal users don't use it. If you're not using BitLocker, double-click the service. Set the startup type to Disabled, Apply and OK. Next, disable Connected User Experience and Telemetry. This service sends usage and diagnostic data to Microsoft. I don't recommend keeping it enabled. Double-click it, choose Disabled, Apply, and click OK. Scroll down to the D section. Look for Diagnostic Execution Service. These diagnostic services are troubleshooting tools, and on Windows 11, they are mostly no longer useful. Disable Diagnostic Execution Service. Diagnostic Policy Service, Diagnostic Service Host, and Diagnostic System Host. Next, look for the Geolocation Service. This service is mainly used for map applications. If you don't use any map apps on your PC, you can disable it. Double-click it, set it to Disabled, Apply and click OK. Now scroll to the End section and find Netlogon. This service is mainly for computers connected to a domain or organization. If this is your personal PC, you don't need it. Disable it using the same steps. Next, look for parental controls. This service enforces restrictions on child accounts. If you're not using parental controls, go ahead and disable it. Scroll down and find the phone service. This service manages connections between your PC and mobile devices. If you're not using phone linking or mobile hotspot features, you can disable this service. Next is Print Spooler. If you don't use a printer, you can disable it. Keep in mind, if you disable this service, printers will not work. Next, look for Remote Desktop Configuration. If you don't use Remote Desktop on your PC, you can disable it. This also helps reduce security risks related to remote access. 
disable both remote desktop configuration and remote desktop services. Go to the S section and find the sensor service. This service manages sensors like GPS and ambient light. If you don't use these features, disable the service. Next, look for Smart Card, Smart Card Device Enumeration, and Smart Card Policy. These services are used for Smart Card authentication. If you log in using a keyboard and mouse, you don't need them. Next, find SysMain. Although it claims to improve performance, in many cases disabling it actually makes the system faster. Disable SysMain. Next, scroll down and look for Wallet Service. This service supports Windows Wallet features such as storing payment information, passes, and other digital credentials used by Microsoft apps. If you don't use any wallet or payment features on Windows 11, you can safely disable the service without affecting normal system functions or everyday applications. Scroll down to the W section and find Windows Biometric Service. This service enables fingerprint login. If you don't use fingerprint authentication, disable it. Next, find Windows Error Reporting Service. This service sends error data to Microsoft, but it doesn't provide direct help to users. You can safely disable it. Scroll down and look for work folders. This service syncs files with work or domain servers. If your PC is not connected to any organization, disable it. Finally, disable Xbox Accessory Management Service. If you don't use Xbox features, also disable Xbox Live Auth Manager. Xbox Live Game Save and Xbox Live Networking Service. Click the Windows search bar, type Task Manager, and open it. After disabling unnecessary Windows services, CPU usage dropped. Processes fell from 254 to 211. Threads from 3938 to 2454. And handles from 136,000 to 97,030, making the system more responsive. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe.